Back in the summer, I was lucky enough to go to Spain to visit Port Aventura World for two days. And I was lucky enough to try the standout attraction at Farai Land five times. And of course, we're talking about the Red Force roller coaster. And I'm going to give you guys an honest opinion about this roller coaster. So let's dive into the review. Red Force is, of course, located in Farai Land at Port Aventura World. And it stands a towering height of 112 meters. That is 367 feet. And the first thing that strikes you is its impressive size. Absolutely, the height is jaw-dropping. Red Force dominates the skyline and even from a distance, you can feel the rush of excitement building up just by looking at it. Red Force is of course known for its rapid speed, launching riders from zero to a blistering speed of 180 km per hour, and that is 112 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. As you're slowly rolling out of the station, the launch suddenly hits you and it's an absolute adrenaline rush. It's an awesome experience that hits you like a speeding bullet. You're punched back into your seat and the acceleration is very powerful. The initial push isn't as strong as the hydraulic launch coasters, of course. The hydraulic launch, of course, still beats the LSM launch for the initial kick, but the LSM launch is, of course, more reliable. What's awesome about Red Force's launch is that you can feel the speed gradually getting stronger and stronger till the end of the launch section, and that is a new yet important and awesome experience and don't forget it is the fastest lsm acceleration all over the world it is a little shaky for riders in the front of the train it could be a bit uncomfortable for people in the back of the train it really depends on the person but it is what you can expect when you get launched up to 180 kilometers per hour Comparing it to other roller coasters like this, Intamin did a fantastic job. Red Force provides a surprisingly smooth ride considering its high speed nature. They did a fantastic job ensuring minimal vibrations and jarring moments. It is mostly comfortable even at those breakneck speeds which enhances the overall enjoyment. After the launch you start to feel the g-forces as you are going up the vertical ascent. It really feels like you are on a spaceship when you are flying vertically up the 112 meter top hat. Now let us talk about the top hat. And I was lucky enough to try the front three times. The airtime depends on which seat you're sitting in, of course. Riders in the front row experience decent to strong airtime, while people in the middle of the train experience decent airtime and the people in the back experience mild floater airtime. The view is absolutely amazing and you can experience it for some seconds. You can see the ocean and the beautiful nature of Spain. The vertical descent is one of the highlights of this ride. All the riders of the train experience great airtime going down the vertical descent. It doesn't matter where you sit on this roller coaster. As a back row rider, you can't feel the pull that you can on a B&M hyper coaster, and that is because of the length of the trains. Because the trains are only three cars of four riders. With that said, it is of course one of the best drops I've ever experienced because of the 90 degree vertical drop and the awesome some height. Hitting the pullout of the final drop, the riders experience intense amount of g-forces. What's so special about Red Force is also that it hits the first sets of brakes and then it jumps into a little airtime hill before it hits the last brakes where it completely stops. This little nut bunny looking hill gives mild airtime throughout the whole train. The ride duration is relatively short, approximately 24 seconds. Despite this short duration, Red Force is a burst of excitement. The short duration adds to its intensity. It's a quick adrenaline fueled surge of excitement and thrill that leaves you craving for more rides on this beast. So what is my final verdict on Red Force? Is it a bucket list coaster? Is it the best at Port Aventura World? And what would I rate it? I'll give Red Force a solid 8 out of 10.
The launch is strong, fast, the top hat gives airtime and the drop is amazing. But that's it, the right duration pulls the score down. And the initial kick of the launch isn't as good as a hydraulic launch. And you can actually make an argument for that the Furious Baku roller coaster has a better launch than Red Force. Even with that said, Red Force is still an amazing roller coaster and uh, it is the closest thing we get to Top Thrill Dragstar King the Car in Europe. So that's why it is a bucket list roller coaster for European coaster enthusiasts, but not Americans. So is it the best roller coaster at Port Aventura World? Actually no, because at the other end of the park there is a huge hyper coaster called Shambhala. If you want me to do a review on Shambhala, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a like or consider subscribing to this new channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.